the Spanish National Research Council, THESIC, has designed and built a walking skeleton for children with spinal muscular atrophy. This genetic disease affects the motor neurons in the spinal cord, slowly causing atrophy in the muscles in the body. Spinal muscular atrophy manifests itself in one of three forms, types 1, 2 or 3. Type 2 sufferers face the drawback of not being able to walk as they don't have the strength to hold their vertical columns steady enough. This leads to respiratory problems and impedes movement which in turn affects their own life expectancy. The exoskeleton is a robotic frame which attaches to the child's legs and torso. It helps them stand up and walk and keep on walking and moving. So on one hand it has a therapeutic effect and on the other it offers an improved quality of life. As the exoskeleton is telescopic, it can be used by kids between the ages of 3 and 14, adjusting to suit the ever-changing dimensions of a growing child. But more important than that is the exoskeleton's capability to adapt to the patient's variety of symptoms. The skeleton consists of five motors in each leg, which act as artificial muscles supplying the correct degree of articulation and movement to the legs. It has a tiny onboard computer which sends these orders to the motors to reproduce as natural a gait pattern as possible. But the ones who control the computer are the children themselves with their own movements because these artificial muscles, which are so sensitive, are able to detect the slightest intention of movement. Physique is currently carrying out preclinical in-lab trials on volunteer patients to demonstrate that the exoskeleton provides a useful function. Both the Ramon Cajal Hospital in Madrid and the San Juan de Dios Hospital in Barcelona are joining forces to test the therapeutic effects of the exoskeleton.